Why did you initiate this podcast? Um, because um, our program is on pluralism and different knowledges. It's called Pluralism Knowledge Program. And in the last six years, we have discovered an interesting link between pluralism and sustainable development that was not immediately obvious to us when we started. Um, so in this podcast, we would like to explain that link and explain the kind of ideas that we have developed in the relationship between pluralism and sustainable development. In my first part, um, I do three things. I introduce the pluralism program in more general terms so that people know um, how this uh, uh, entry on um, sustainable development is contextualized within other forms of pluralism. And secondly, I explain how we got via two pathways, we got into the field of pluralism and sustainable development. And thirdly, I go into a concrete event, uh, a seminar that the uh, pluralism program organized in Uganda in uh, April 2012. Your part of the podcast is about uh, mainly about Bruno Latour. Uh, could you explain to me why he is so interesting in uh, this uh, topic? Uh, Bruno Latour is a French philosopher, but he is also uh, not only a philosopher, but an anthropologist. And he did a lot of studies of the Amazon forest, for instance, but also in Africa. And there he became interested in questions about ecology and sustainable development. So in his later work, let's say over the last 10 years, he focused even mainly on these topics. And that makes him very interested for the topic of the podcast. It was a pleasure to give a presentation about a topic uh, on which I worked uh, the last uh, decennia, about the social impacts particularly of biotechnology for food production and the possibilities for redesigning technology development in the benefit for resource poor farmers. You know, we, we had a lot of fun making this podcast and we hope that people who are interested in pluralism issues and people interested in sustainability issues are willing to listen to what we have to say and enter into a debate with us uh, about these issues. And, and we at the Cosmopolis Institute of the University of Humanistic Studies very much invite people to contact us uh, by mail or on the site and come with their responses to the kind of things that, that we are exploring in the program.